honor, courage, and strength of character. These qualities are embodied by the recipients of the Medal of Honor. Now let's recognize this week's Medal of Honor recipient on O'Neill Outside. Fred W. Zabatoski, October the 20th, that's today, we'll talk about him. He was in Vietnam, U.S. Army, Special Forces, 1968. Fred's patrol was operating deep within enemy-controlled territory in Laos when they were attacked by a North Vietnamese Army unit. Fred ordered his patrol to move to a landing zone for helicopter extraction while he covered their withdrawal. Mainly due to his example, the outnumbered patrol maintained their position until the arrival of the helicopter extraction team. As the determined North Vietnamese pressed their attack, Fred repeatedly exposed himself to their fire to adjust suppressive helicopter gunship fire around the landing zone. After boarding one of the rescue helicopters, he positioned himself in the door, delivering fire on the enemy as the ship took off. The helicopter was engulfed in a hail of bullets and Fred was thrown from the craft as it spun out of control and crashed. Recovering consciousness, he ignored his injuries and moved to the flaming wreckage. Heedless of the danger of exploding ordnance and fuel, he pulled the severely wounded pilot from the searing blaze and made repeated attempts to rescue his patrol members, but was driven back by the intense heat. Despite his serious burns and crushed ribs, he carried and dragged the unconscious pilot through the curtain of enemy fire to within 10 feet of a hovering rescue helicopter before collapsing himself. Zabatovsky's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the U.S. Army. He lived and died at the age of 53. That is a hero. 49 minutes.